the the trick for the for the boards of directors obviously is to network you don't you do interview at the end but you don't really network in and i have a i have a friend that's been on boards for 20 years and and i i asked her i said well you know do you ever decide oh i want to target this company and she said you know she had in the past and it it never worked now, someone might say, okay, well, how, how do I get on these boards? How, how do I get into the inner circle of the Silicon Valley and the tech startups? You know, what, what is it about um, finding and, and or attracting because of your talent and your skill set? Do you interview for these boards? Is it, you know, like how, 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 talk, talk about the inner circle and, and jumping in and maybe tell a story of somebody who was maybe on the outside who got in and provided tremendous value at that C-suite level and was able to parlay that into, you know, an excellent, an excellent exit. Yep. Yep. So, so the, the interesting thing is I do get a lot of people, they've read my book there, as I say, about 50 years old and they're like, look at me, I'm ready for board work. And you look at their career and their career has been fantastic, but it's been in R and D or, you know, it's, it's been in an area that boards aren't interested in. And, and if you think about what a, what a board of directors wants to do, especially at a startup level, they, you know, at the private company level, they want to grow the company. And so that's the, the, the trick for the, for the boards of directors, obviously, is to network. You, don't, you do interview at the end, but you don't really network in. And I have a, I have a friend that's been on boards for 20 years. And, and I, I asked her, I said, well, you know, do you ever decide, oh, I want to target this company. And she said, you know, she had in the past and it, it never works. She just said, they come to you and, you know, you just, they know what they're looking for, but how do you become the person that, that a lot of boards are looking for? You've got to get in sales in some, op some opportunity. If you're in sales and you're able to grow an organization from 10 million to 50 million or from 50 million to hundred million, then all the organizations that are looking, that are similar in similar industries that are looking for that are going to want somebody on their board. <clears throat> One exception is that if you're a, a partner at a venture firm, the venture firm makes a big investment in the company and then they get a board seat. But you're, you know, so you're kind of like put on there, but you're not really requested. And so it's very different to be um, a venture board member versus an independent board member where they've sought, sought you out for your expertise. Uh, both are fine. And so one way to get on, get on boards is to be a venture partner, right? Break into the venture, you know, break into the venture industry. Um, and another is to build your own company, which is the highest risk um, and, you know, kind of lowest, lowest uh, assuredness that that's going to happen um, or be part of another company that gets built. But you can't just be part of it. You need to be part of the P&L of growing, of actually showing that you can grow the front, the top line. And